Physical distancing, also called social distancing, is a public health measure that can reduce the spread of a communicable disease. Droplets from a sneeze or cough can travel up to six feet or more. By keeping at least six feet between yourself and others, you create a barrier of physical space to reduce the risk of germ spread. In addition to wearing your mask, physical distancing is critical to reducing the spread of COVID-19, especially when at work. So we wear gloves, latex gloves. We also wear a face mask that you see me wearing now. Uh, we often encounter people at the beginning of the process of coming into the hospital. So they stop at the desk. We, uh, we have a line that we tell them, hey, you can stop right there, sir. We find out what they're here for. And if they are here to be seen or for an appointment, we make sure that they have on the proper, the proper equipment. So our duty here is to keep everybody safe. And we, we take that duty very seriously. We're not rounding in large groups as we're used to. So we are using Zoom um, for rounding. And sometimes that includes someone bringing a camera or wearing one on their head so that everyone watching from home or in their office is able to see the patient even though physically they're not seeing the patient. Kind of one of the way we deal with it is by uh, letting each other know, hey, six feet, social distancing. Um, sometimes because the line is so small where we work, uh, one person will step back when it's their time to perform the task, which makes it kind of difficult when you have assembly line. Um, we make it work. In our team room, we put signs um, as reminders. We really focused in on that we're protecting ourselves and one another, but also our families who are at home and, and who aren't here with us. Uh, put signs on the tables where people would often gather. So it was a kind of that immediate feedback to take a step back and, and find a different way to do that workflow. And in the break room, rearranging the tables, removing some chairs so that we would really not be tempted to put large amounts of people in a small space um, and be safe when we're in those areas and, um, and working through our day. The way things have changed for us since the social distancing, me and my coworkers, we stay six feet apart. It's a little hard too when we don't have, when we can't, we, we social distance on our own when we have downtime. Um, we wear our masks all the time. We always wash our hands, but we frequently wash our hands even more. And it's a little uncomfortable in a mask, but we do what we gotta do. It doesn't really take longer to prep food. We, we make it work here. Um, we've offered al alternative spaces for uh, people to take breaks. Um, for instance, it's getting great weather outside and take, take a break outside. Uh, other opportunities to uh, uh, take a break in other parts of the building where, that are less congested. This has been a very challenging time for all of us. We're a very social group here in the specialty clinic. You know, but we've had to adapt, you know, for the safety of our co-workers and for our patients and family that are visiting with us. Physical distancing is important at all times. Be mindful when entering the building, walking in hallways, waiting in line for coffee or food, on rounds, in break rooms and cafeterias, or just when you are talking with colleagues. COVID-19 isn't taking a break. So please, don't take a break from protecting yourself and others by physical distancing. Thank you for practicing social distancing to keep our colleagues and our patients safe. Although we must remain at least six feet apart, virtual connection using social media, telephone calls, or video conferencing can help keep us connected. Staying connected is so important during these challenging times. Thank you for everything you're doing. Together, we can stop the spread of COVID-19.